Okay, so this video is going to be about the tools required for geodesic dome construction. And this is going to be for the prefabricated panel method, which is opposed to the hub and strut construction method. So if that's what you're interested in doing, then this video will hopefully be of some help to you. I'm going to explain the way that I did it, and then a way that I think you could do it, which should work just as well which may save you some money or be more useful um, with the tools that you'll require. So here's a handheld circular saw. You can buy one of these, a cheaper version, for about £30. So that's how you're going to be able to save some of your money right there. And that's opposed to using a table saw. So the way I would do this is I'd take it like this and I'd mount it to, I'd put some holes in this piece of metal here. And I would mount this to a big piece of plywood. I'd make a very sturdy plywood table or something very cheap and cheerful as cheap as I could basically and then as you can see on the front here this is a gauge and this gauge you can adjust the level to make it not, no longer be completely flat and it tilts it at a slight angle I'll show you that in a minute but that is the function that you would need either on the table saw or on your handheld circular saw so you need to be able to adjust the bevel cut and this, as you can, if you can see these markings here, that's a 45 degree bevel cut. It does actually go to 50 degrees on this particular saw. And then the other thing you're going to need is a drill. And this helps to, um, as you like, connect the, triangle, the ends of the two triangle frames together. This is helpful for drilling that together. You need a stapler. And you will need this to attach the plastic triangle frame, like the plastic triangle material and you'd wrap it around each individual triangle like a drum and that makes it very nice, strong and uh, sturdy and then you're going to need three, at least three of these and these are canvas plier clips if you want to search that on Google these are very useful for when you also have to use the stapler these are useful twice in the process so when you use the stapler and you have, a, imagine you have a wooden triangle that's been cut out from your jig with your circular saw, you've cut all the struts and you stick it on the jig, cut off the ends and make sure it's all neat and even drill the ends together to make a strong complete triangle and you're going to use the stapler to wrap the plastic around the triangle like a drum and this is useful for keeping the tension in the, in the plastic sheet or fabric so to keep tension in the plastic membrane to make the, the skin strong like a drum if that makes sense and you need three of those to connect it like around each point and then this is the second time that this is useful is when you're connecting more than one triangle to another triangle so where the two wooden struts will touch together you use this to clamp in between and I can try and show you that later at the actual dome if I remember to so back to this circular saw this guy here probably cost about £100 but you can get a cheaper version that isn't name brand for about £30 probably and fix that to the table, as I said, to make your own table saw. Now, the alternative version, this costs £175. It's a bit messy over here. And you're just looking at this table saw from the back. So I can't really show you the functions because I've tidied up in here or it's been tidied up in here. So that will just make a mess. So but as you can see, here's the blade from the behind. And... Um, this has like a small gear system on it so that I can tilt the blade to the side and that's how I get the bevel cut and also you're going to want the parallel guide now this table saw cost £175 it's probably made in China I think by a company um, <coughs> and you can buy them like American made they'll probably cost about £500 and the real difference is in this part here this is the parallel guide um, in this part here so that's the real difference and the better that parallel guide is the better your dome will come out in the end so if you're going to use this circular saw to make your own table saw I suggest trying to make the parallel guide as sturdy as possible and possibly have it be immobile so that every strut comes out beveled in exactly the same way okay now again excuse me for the mess but there are some that's the triangular jig there and you can see how I've made the window around the edges and also that the plastic is attached there, you can kind of see the light glinting off of it. So that but that's a basic summary of what you would do with these tools. Okay, so hopefully that video is helpful to someone. 
and um, that more people can build their own geodesic domes, greenhouses, and maybe even start their own aquaponic systems and become more food independent. Thank you, everyone.